Hi, everyone. My name is Catherine Fallis, and I am the founder and tasting panel lead of Planet Grape Wine Review. I was also the fifth woman in the world to become a master sommelier. Today's topic is about an island in the south of Italy. It's an island you may have heard of, which is called Sicily. And so in Italian, it's called Sicilia. And DOC or DOC is the formal appellation information. So that's the kind of the rules and regulations and the geographic area that's included. So how to say Sicily in Italian, you say Sicilia. Sicilia. Or just say Sicily. Wine has been made here since 4000 BC. The island has a dry, warm climate with consistent sunshine and only moderate rainfall, which is ideal for wine production, especially in the areas with those nice cooling coastal breezes. There are 19 different native or indigenous grape varieties at the latest count, and a few of them are Grillo, Insulia, Caricante, and Nero Davola. We'll be tasting those four today. So at Planet Grape Wine Review, we review wines from all over the world. And when we get a chance to showcase wines made from native or indigenous grape varieties from one appellation, it's really kind of a nice experiment. So I hope you can check out these wines, find them. They're not that hard to find. Just do a quick search online. The Cantina Hermes Quattro Grillo, it's like yellow Grillo, we found to be really light, tart, racy, and dry with notes of lemon, apricot, lily, jasmine, and sea spray. So some nice light tart fruit, a little floral note, and a little of that iodine or sea salt or sea, sea spray note that gives you a sense of how close these vineyards are to the coast. And we gave this wine 91 points and it's $18. The Insulia grape is what we're tasting next, and that's from Principi di Butera, 2019. Again, very light and crisp, very pithy and dry. And pith is that white part under, underneath the lemon skin or the citrus skin. And if you were to actually bite into that by mistake or put some onto your palate, you'll find that it's, it's a little bit drying and tart. Uh, and, and textural, it gives a little bit of a textural uh, interest to, to the wine. We also found notes of lemon, white peach, sage, oregano, and hot beach sand. Maybe we were just dreaming of visiting the beach after 15 months inside. Uh, anyway, this is only $16.99. Again, only 12.5 in alcohol, very light um, and easy to pair. And we gave this 91 points. We also love the 2018 Planeta Erozione 1614 Caricante. So Caricante is another of these local grapes, 12.5% in alcohol. We found this very lean and crisp, a little earthy and very dry with notes of lemon, baked apple, egg custard, crusty baguette, petrol, and white mushroom. So there was a lot going on here. It's $42.99. It's, we gave it 92 points and we found it to be really, again, light and crisp and tart and dry, but there's, you can see by what we wrote, uh, we found a little bit more than just that um, in the wine, very interesting wine, named after the volcanic eruption in 1614 in Etna. And for red wine lovers, this D. Giovanna Maria Mero de Avila, uh, is only again 13.5 percent in alcohol 2019 vintage and again very light tart and dry with notes of raspberry and black olive and arugula and fennel seed and cumin seed and dark chocolate and pink rose so a lot going on there but it really all works together and we've we gave this 92 points it's only 21.99 for a very complex wine 
again, not big, not round, not kind of in the Napa cap st style by any means, but really complex. So why should you try Sicilia dock wines? They're unique grapes with a lot of individuality. There's little to no oak and they're lower in alcohol. They're typically light, crisp, dry and refreshing. And they're really easy to pair with warm weather dishes. Many of them are under $20. Lots of great reasons to seek out the wines of Sicily or Sicilia Doc. Thank you for joining us. Feel free to check out our YouTube channel at Planet Grape or on Instagram at Planet Grape underscore Grape Goddess. Thanks again, and we'll see you the next time.